Howdy everybody. I had mentioned in one of my videos, but that's probably not out yet, um, that I was going to talk about the snafu that is the cracking dimpled laser cut parts um, that Vans is struggling with right now. And I want to say first, right off the bat, um, Vans is in a predicament and I think they're handling it as best as anybody could. Um, it was just a bad deal all the way around. I don't think they meant any ill will or any bad thing to happen. I, they're not those kind of people. They always seem to be pretty nice and very willing to do the right thing. So I am not slamming vans at all. Um, but I do have a couple of questions that I'm hoping they cover um, this next week in um, Oshkosh. Um, so vans, if you happen to see this or if someone happens to see this and you're at Oshkosh, maybe ask vans. I have a few questions um, that I wanted to ask. Um, and the first one, um, when you indicate the parts needs, need to be replaced, is that based on the part having a certain percentage of cracked rivets or does that indicate that the part needs to be replaced no matter what? The reason why I ask this question is I have some of the parts, um, like the spar to my vertical stabilizer, has zero cracks. It looks pristine. Um, I don't see any cracks in it, um, but it's on the list to be replaced. And so I'm kind of confused on whether or not that part should be replaced. I mean, if it needs replaced, I'm, I'm going to replace stuff that needs replaced. Don't get me wrong. But that's a question I have is like, where is the line? Is there um, some indication that we could look for that says, no, this part is good or this part is bad? Um, and I guess the hard part is um, when we got our kits, I couldn't tell you I mean I've gone back and looked at some of my old videos and it's like okay yeah that part didn't have blue on it but it didn't have blue on it the blue covering when I had it on my work table and I was recording stuff that doesn't mean I didn't take the blue stuff off of it and just didn't record that part and so I'm kind of confused as to where how do we know if it's bad or if it's good um, the next question um, Oh, and that kind of covers my second question is, what do you do if the part has no cracks, but's on the list? Um, I, do we, should we replace it? Do we have to replace it? Um, if there are no cracks, is it a good piece? Is it a bad piece? Do we just replace everything you say to replace? Um, so some direction on that would be nice. Um, the third question I have is, what, a part, what about parts that will be ruined when you replace the indicated parts. Um, for example, the trailing edge ribs in the elevators have been sealed to the rear spar, which you guys say needs to be replaced. And I've used tank sealant on those um, trailing edge spars um, to attach them to that rear spar. So taking those apart is going to be nigh impossible. So what do we do in that case? Um, and then also, if we can get them away from the the spar away from the rear the rear spar away from those trailing edge ribs, those trailing edge ribs are tanks. They use tank sealant to attach them to the skins. Um, so what happens when we can't get those trailing edge ribs out without damaging either the skin or the rib or the trailing edge itself? or something else. What is Van's plan for those instances when it's not the builder's fault um, that that rear spar needs replaced, but it's attached to other things that are going to get damaged when you pull that whole thing apart. Is Van's also going to replace those parts that can't be removed from the indicated parts that need replaced? So that's a question I have um, because, hey, when I screw up a part, 
I have to call you guys and I have to pay for the new part and for shipping to get it down here and then spend the time to do it. And so I'm just wondering who bears the responsibility of replacing those parts that aren't necessarily the parts indicated as needing replaced, but are gonna get damaged um, in removing the parts that do need replaced. So that was my third question. My fourth question, are all the parts laser cut that bad? So everything that got laser cut, is it bad? Um, is it something that we should be replacing all of them? Um, I know you're doing testing um, and that's fantastic. And you'll send out a list of, hey, these parts either need replaced or don't need replaced. But if those laser cut parts are in some way, shape or form not ideal to be on the plane, should we replace them anyway? Um, I'm, I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, I, and I guess what I mean is if the laser, if they were laser cut and they are on the replace list, do they have to be replaced? Um, or is it possible to have laser cut parts um, that are on the replace list but aren't bad? Um, so for instance, if they used uh, you know the laser to cut the holes on a particular part but for some reason that part didn't crack or wasn't bad or came from a different shop that did something different that made it not a bad part um, do we know that do we know if that's the case I don't know um, I don't know where all of the parts came from I don't know who the manufacturers were I'm just wondering is it possible to have laser cut parts that aren't bad, that didn't crack and won't crack? Um, so that was my fourth question. Um, again, I don't know what to say, don't know what to do. Um, I'm gonna trust that Vans, they've been pretty solid up to this point. I think they will con continue to be pretty solid. Um, I'm not saying I'm not concerned or not a little bit peeved because I've finished a lot of the parts and it means a lot more work. Um, so I'm not going to go so far as to say I'm just happy about it. But um, I appreciate the fact that they were honest about it. There was cracks. They're doing something about it. Nowadays, finding companies that are willing to take the hit, um, when a mistake is made, is it's hard to come by. There are not a whole lot of them out there, so I do appreciate that. Um, but I can tell you, it's I'm not extremely excited about taking apart the pieces that I already have together. That does not look like fun or sound like fun to me at all. Um, but I want to do it right, so we'll see. Um, what Vans comes up with. I hope they have a great explanation and a lot of direction that we get from Oshkosh because um, they said they would talk about that at Osh. I am not at Oshkosh and that upsets me. Um, I had planned on going and then life gets in the way um, but if you're there you're going to Osh just know that you're a jerk and I hate your guts. No I'm just kidding. I just wish I was there. So have fun, talk to you later. As always, leave a comment, share, all that good stuff. Talk to you later, bye.